So I have this submit form here. Let's open it, and this is the form. This can be in your website, uh, wherever you want it, or wherever you want it. And if a user enters their name, let's say Sam Smith, and user's email. Now, this email is not mandatory because uh, this email will only be required if you want to email them back. And let me just say uh, Sam Smith at the rate gmail.com. And let's enter the title. I want a refund or something. Okay, let's enter a positive one. Very good service. And let's enter a message. I am impressed by your service. Thank you, or whatever, or whatever the issues they are having. And they click on submit. The email will be sent. Okay, and you will receive this email so you can contact them later if you want. So let's see how this is all working and I'll show you the actual email being sent at the end of the tutorial. Okay, so what you need is first things first, you need to go to emailjs.com here, sign up. And since I've already signed up, I'll just click on sign in. By the way, I also have this code here and I'll push it to GitHub. So you can just check the code or just clone it to play around with it. Okay. Okay, so I'll just sign in. And once you are here, you will see add new email service. Now this is the email that will be used to send email to whatever email you want. So I just use my personal Gmail account and this service ID is auto-generated. You can change it if you want, but I'll not because what's the use, right? And let's uncheck this because if you check this, you will receive an email. You can keep it checked, but I don't want any test email. And I'll just create service. Okay, first you need to click on connect account. And now it will ask, which email account you want to use to send the email. Okay, so let's do one thing. I'll use my personal email to send email to this account. Whenever someone submits a message, I want that message to be sent to this account, okay? From this account. So I'll just click on this, give it access, click on continue, and now let's click on create service. Once the service is created, you need to create a template. I can just create a new template. Now, our contact form has email, title, message, and name, right? If your contact us or contact form or any other form has different fields, you can just create the same fields here in templates. So we'll just choose a basic contact us template. There are some other fancy templates here, see? So these are the templates you can use, but I just want to use this contact us template and just click on create template. Once you create the template, you will see this. Now this is what will be sent to our admin email or whichever email we want to send the message that will be written here. So I'll just do uh, contact us title. Now this title will be auto populated from this email. So it will uh, leave it as it is. Now we also have name, title, message, and email, right? So what do we have? The subject will be contact us. To email is we want to send to mail the code city and there is gmail.com and name is this label's name and reply to is the customer's email and yeah we have not used title that is uh, let's include the title too so what we can do is here click on edit content click on design editor or you can just go if you want. And here, I'll just enter, let's say I want title here, which, which is this title, okay? And once this is done, just click on Apply Changes, click on Save, and now we have almost everything that we need, okay? So here we are using title, name, okay, name, title, message, and email, right? Now this has to be, the form field names here. So what those are, I'll just show you in a minute. So I have this index of HTML, very basic, some CSS here for colors and stuff. And this is the form. Okay, name, email, title, and message. The ID here, this is the important bit. ID is message, subject, email, and name, right? A subject. And here we are using title. So why is that? Because we are importing mail.js and this is the actual email sender here as subject we are getting subject so i'll change this subject to 
title and the subject will be as it is because our form field's name is subject here okay and we are sending these as template parameters and these are the these four things are the parameters name email temp, uh, title and message that are being used here name email name email title and message okay so everything is ready now we just need these details that is our email js public key service id and template id so where do you find those things go to settings and here you will see template id let's copy this and paste it here now, if you're trying to use the same thing that i put here don't worry guys i'll delete this after the video so don't 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 go around trying wasting your time okay and for what else for the service thing just click on save go to content where is it okay go to services and here you have service id click on this and just click on copy go back here enter your service id and finally you need public key to find your public key go here go to account and click on public key just copy it and paste it here and now we are ready okay so let's see if this actually works i'll just reload the form because i have updated the data name is sam smith this is our customer i'm acting as a customer and my email is sam smith at the rate gmail.com the title is very good okay i need to buy something and what's the cost of working the golf course for let's say two hours and just click on submit and let's wait a few seconds and you can see this message email success, email sent successfully now let's check our mail i should receive these details and here it is sam smith contact us i need to buy and this is the template that we had created and now if you want to reply to sam smith you can do that too but that is beyond the scope of this tutorial maybe we'll do that in some other tutorial but now cheers and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below